Hello, welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today I'm going to talk about the negative cast. Negative casting is what podiatrists do to make an impression of the foot to make a custom-made orthotic device. There's many reasons to make orthotic devices, which will be actually the subject for other talks and other, other videos. But we have to take a cast that's the gold standard of a podiatrist practice in, in making orthotic devices. There's many ways of making a cast from stepping into something to, uh, to uh, using a laser scan, but I'm, I'm a traditionalist and I've used this technique for over 30 years. I'm comfortable with it and it's really the technique that was taught thousands and thousands of podiatrists around the world. So I, I think this is the, the best one for me to, to talk to you about. So a negative cast means that you're going to wrap plaster paris around a foot to get an impression of the foot uh, in, in a good position. You, and so you're going to design an orthotic around that. Uh, the standard is to put the subtalar joint in neutral. That, that te uh, technology has been around since the 1700s when the French first learned that if a, if a young ballet dancer stayed in neutral, for her heel stayed under the ankle, when she went up onto releve and to point, she was going to be relatively injury free, or at least prevent a lot of injuries. So that neutral position has been here for, for over 300 years. And so podiatrists, when they take a cast, will put the subtalar joint in neutral. And then you, you lock the arch, which is called the mid-tarsal joint. So the arch is manipulated to stabilize it, sort of take the slack out of it, because a lot of people's arches move a lot, and you want sort of an end point that's really solid. So I'll demonstrate that. Um, it's really important that the cast it becomes our reference to what we call forefoot deformities, whether the forefoot is tilted in a varus or a valgus position. So it's it's key to making a good orthotic that your that your cast represents what you measured in terms of deciding on how to treat that person. So this forefoot to rear foot relationship is really important and we'll get into that uh, further. Uh, you, after you take a cast, you want to you wanna look at that cast. So this is a cast taken by one of my partners uh, you know, yesterday, so I grabbed it from the lab. Uh, you want the cast to, you, I don't know this person's foot, but you want the cast to represent that person's foot from what when, when you take it off the foot. It should look like that foot. It should have the curves that that individual foot has. Uh, one of the landmarks we always use is that this outside edge should be relatively straight unless the person has a really deformed foot. So that shows that the cast is, is very, it was taken correctly, this, little, this straight edge. And then what, what you do is when, when, you, when, we, when we're going to pour this, so this is called a negative cast, we're going to pour it with plaster paris and make what we call a positive cast. So this, these are three left feet. Uh, this is the, the young lady who I'm going to cast next, her left foot, uh, Pat. And then this is two other left feet. And you can see how all three of them were poured where the, the heel sat straight. So you bisect the heel at area. You pour it in that position. And then it will fall to one direction or another once you take the, uh, you know, take the, 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 uh, the cast off, the uh, splints off. So, um, so this being the right foot, 
leans out a little bit. It's, it's, a, it's a slight four foot valgus foot. So if you look at these three left feet, so these have all been poured. They were all poured where the heel was set at vertical. You can see this foot is relatively straight. This foot is tilted inward. So if I, if I was to level that, you know, they'd be right here and then it collapses inward. We call that a four foot varus, where the foot is leaned in like this. And then this foot is the opposite. It's a four foot valgus where, you know, we poured it vertical, but it tilts to the outside. So I hope, I hope that um, is obvious to you that, and, and that should have been what I measured and should have been what I captured in my cast. So now I'm going to show you the casting technique that we use. So I come over and I'm going to use plaster of Paris. First mined in the Montmartre district of, of Paris, if you've ever been there. And my wife always gets mad at me when I come home with plaster on my, on my pants. So I, I, uh, I try to cover up well. And, and I, I tease my, my teenage patients that I put the gloves on because of all the blood. And I don't want, I don't want to get all bloody. And they, and they look at their parents and they're quite worried. So we take these splints. This is uh, um, called Specialist. Uh, it's uh, 50 splints that are 5 inches by 30 inches. Uh, and, and it's really important that you get what's called extra fast setting, which takes two to four minutes. If you get the fast setting, you're going to be holding that cast forever and your arm is going to tire. So, so you take these three splints, or we, or we take three splints and then we're going to try to use warm water, although this is cold, so sorry. And then we wrap it, first one under the heel, because we want to get the we want to get the cast like right under the ankle bone to, to get to, to, so we're able to see as much of the heel architecture when we bisect it. That's really crucial to get it, get it relatively high. So we, we rub that in and we're going to try to take out as many wrinkles as we possibly can. So that's the first one. The second one is going to go around the front of the foot. So we're going to completely enclose this foot. And I always put a little fold on the top just to make it so it's more solid when I take it off. So again you you put it over and you and you overlap it here. Maybe show show the bottom of the cast here. And then, and then we'll take a third one, and we're just going to reinforce it. The, the labs have to pour plaster in here, and you don't want the cast to be flimsy. So I, I actually use a third splint to make it more solid. So and I'll rub that in. It actually helps me rub in, and really, so I'm not, I don't have to be dainty with rubbing it in. So I get a really solid cast. And then typically I'll take a, a little piece of, of paper uh, just so I can grab the fourth and fifth toes. So the orthotic is going to go along the bottom of the foot here and, and it's okay to grab the fourth and fifth toes because that's not going to be part of your, your typical plastic orthotic. So you grab the toes and then the, 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 what we call neutral position is attained by lining up the tibia through the second toe. There's a feel to the subtalar joint where you're at the bottom of, the, of that motion, where you go from inverted down to the bottom, and that's, that typically, about 99% of the time, lines up right with neutral. So it's, 
it's, it's, it's a fairly easy position to find. So once I've got her in neutral, and I'm, I'm lifting up the foot to take some of the slack away, so the mid-tarsal joint is, uh, is pronated, now I'm going to rub it in real good, make sure that, that I'm capturing the bottom of her foot really well. And I, I tend to gently uh, vibrate the foot uh, just so I make sure that the patient's not tightening any tendons. Because, you know, we're putting something strange on their foot and, and when they tighten the tendons, that can distort the foot. So then we... So we've got the subtalar in neutral, we've got the mid-tarsal joint loaded and, and pronated, and, and now you can understand why you want the extra fast setting, because you've got to hold it, and, and also you've got to make sure you're not on the mid-tarsal heads, you're not, you know, not on any part of the, um, the cast that would be on the orthotic, um, and we hold it until when you're tapping the bottom, it's pretty solid. Okay, then when you're ready, I think it's pretty much ready. Once it's formed around that position, you gently sort of push on the, on the skin to separate it. Um, when patients ask me how I'm going to take this off, I always tell them, uh, uh, a buzz saw, but um, you um, you can just sort of slide it off, just gently sort of vibrate it, slide it as easy as you can. Try not to distort the cast, and we'll peel it off the foot. So here we've got a nice uh, cast of uh, you can see nice cast, good arch. Uh, the outside edge is very straight. Um, if you compare the cast to what her foot looks like, it's a, it's a good representation of the bottom of her foot. There's no wrinkles in there. Um, because I've already checked her forefoot to rear foot, if I line it up, it, it's exactly where I want it. She, she, she has just a slight forefoot varus. And, and that's what I captured in this cast. It's not tilted one way or the other way in, in any extreme. So, so anyway, so thank you. I hope this is, at least when you go and see a doctor who's going to make an orthotic, you're uh, a little smarter on the technique of what's being done. Uh, and, and I hope this is, was helpful for you. Thank you very much.